Welcome guys to the Crochet Beats channel. In this video tutorial I will show you how to crochet this hat for men. It's actually a unisex hat. Look at this beautiful crown. Uh, this hat can be done using different yarn, different gauge, and different hook. So the main measurements just to know it's the length is 28 centimeters or 11 inches and width if you know these parameters 21 centimeters or eight and a half inches this hat can be done with folded brim or just a single brim for this hat i was using 4.5 millimeters crochet hook and the yarn here is the yarn, it is 100% wool from Knit Picks. And it's written bulky, but previously we had lots of discussion about this yarn. And it if you look at the yardage, you can see that it's more look like medium weight yarn than bulky. So that's how it looks. So you are you are welcome to use medium weight yarn for this hat if you don't want to change uh, too much your calculations. The hat is really easy, I would say uh, beginner friendly as well if you are attentive. And now I want to tell you about their calculations. So for this hat, the hat circumference is 54-57 centimeters and I'm going to make in total five sections so i will show you how to crochet one section and then you will repeat the same pattern four more times if you want to make the this hat for the bigger size or for for a child for for example you need to know the width of one sec section and in my case it is nine centimeters nine by five the full length of the hat will be 45 centimeters can be a little bit more it will not hurt so how to calculate you take 54 57 or 57 centimeters always minus 15 or 20 percent to make the hat fit better and the length has to be between 45 uh, to 48 centimeters if for example for example, you need a smaller size, then it means you need to make the width smaller, for example, 7 or 8 centimeters. While crocheting one section, you will have 7 decreases for this hat. And to make the width a little bit smaller, 1 or 2 centimeters, so you decide, depends on the size, you make less decreases. So for example, you make instead of seven, five decreases and the length, the width will be here seven centimeters. It's approximately. Also, you can change the number of sections. You can crochet five sections or for example, six sections or more. So seven by six, for example, it's 42 centimeters. So you see the hat is already smaller. The hat will be already smaller. If you multiply seven by five, it will be 35 centimeters. The hat will fit baby uh, one, two years old. So you can vary width and the number of sections until you reach desired head circumference minus 15 20%. So let's get started. First of all, make a slip knot. And chain 50. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Please go on. You can chain more. 
or less and it doesn't matter it will be even or odd number but the chain has to measure without stretching 31 centimeters you see without stretching 31 centimeters and then the hat will shrink a little bit and it is for the hat with folded brim so you can chain more than 50 or less than 50 just measure your chain after now chain one so in total 51 and we start to work into the back ridges and make one single crochet in each back ridge till the end in total 50 single crochet back reach here it is please go on one single crochet in each chain till the end that's what we have in one turn and start working into the back loop into the second chain from hook make one single crochet back loop only and go on making in total 48 single crochet back loop only or you work until you have two stitches Please go on crocheting until you have two stitches at the end. Leave unworked those two stitches, chain one, turn. Row number three, again work through the back loop, one single crochet in each stitch till the end again in total 48 single crochet Please go on crocheting till the end of this row. At the very end, I do recommend this is our age, so please crochet the last stitch underneath both loops. It will make the age less. Less stretchy. Chain one, turn. Row number four again through the back loop, one single crochet in next forty six stitches. So we did here forty eight. Until you have these two unworked, 46 in total. So you leave these two stitches unworked, chain one, turn. And starting into the second chain from hook through the back loop, one single crochet in each 
stitch. Please go on working till the end. At the end, the last single crochet make underneath both loops. Chain one, turn. Row number six, one single crochet in next 44 stitches. So go on crocheting until you have here two stitches unworked. One, two, and three. Step number three, two stitches here. Make chain one, turn, and row number seven, one single crochet in each stitch across Please go on till the end. At the end, last single crochet, work underneath both loops, chain one, turn. And in this way, you go on crocheting, always leaving two stitches here until you have in total seven steps. So, as I said, seven decreases back and forth, back and forth. And at the end, you will have here 36 stitches. 36 stitches. So 50, 50 minus 14. 7 times 1, 2, 3, then 4, 5, 6, and 7. And you will have 36 stitches. And there will be first section ready. I will be back and show you how to finish first section and how to start the next one. And repeat, you will repeat the same pattern after that four more times. Please go on crocheting. Here I am. So let's count what we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and if we measure, so you see nine centimeters, nine centimeters. If you need length till the last decrease, it's 24 centimeters. Okay, now. Next row, we will gather all those steps together and I will show you how to do it. Chain one, turn and make 50 single crochet.
go on crocheting now till this point. Now, if we go down right away, so go down and work right away single crochet, you will get a big hole. You see here, here. So that's what we don't want to get. That's why you have to insert the hook between this and previous row. You see here is the bar, this one. So you insert the hook into this bar and right away insert the hook into the back loop of the next stitch. Let's do it again. So here is the bar and here is the next stitch. So into this bar and right away into the next stitch. Now make yarn over, pull through two. The stitch and the bar and yarn over and pull through two. Now one single crochet into the next stitch. And again, we have to jump down here. So find the bar. And then next stitch, yarn over, pull through the stitch and the bar, yarn over and pull through last two loops. Again, one single crochet back loop only. You see? Now jump down again, bar, insert the hook, and right away into the back loop. Pull through two and then pull through two. Next single crochet and again. Single crochet. Now again. Pull through, pull through, pull through two, pull through two. And in, the, in this easy way, go on till the end. In total, 15 single crochet. And now the last single crochet. That's it. Look at this beautiful line. So that's how we are going to form a crown. Now chain one and make one single crochet in each stitch across. Go on crochet until the end and the last stitch work underneath both loops. Here I am. The first section is ready. Chain one and turn. Now we are going to start everything from the beginning. We go on crocheting 48 single crochet leaving two stitches unworked. If you need a smaller size, as at, the, as at the beginning, you will need to make less than seven decreases. So it can be five, it can be six, or for the bigger size, it can be eight. Okay. 
please go on crocheting and leave two stitches here. At the end, you see two stitches. I leave them unworked. Chain one, turn. Now one single crochet in next 48 stitches. And always back loop. Please go on till the end and after that go on repeating and making as many sections as you need and I will be back and show you the total width. Here I am guys, that's what I have, so look at this crown, will be really beautiful, one, two, three, four, five, five sections as I said. The last row we did where we gathered all steps together and the working yarn now is at the top and let's measure the width and you see the width is 48 centimeters so I said between 45 and 48 and of course the hat is really super stretchy so it will fit 57 and even 58 centimeters hat circumference. Now you have two options how to finish the hat. You can right away now make a seam from top to down here, then cut the yarn and then attach new tail and close the crown. What I want to do, I want to cut the yarn and leave a long tail about two meters or one and a half meters so i will close the crown and then using the same tail i will make a seam along from the top to the bottom you decide whether you want to break the yarn or whether you want to make a long seam and then cut the yarn and then close the crown. So leave a long tail, really long tail, minimum one, one and a half meters, better two. Now take a yarn needle, tapestry needle, and let's close the crown. So first of all, you need to find which side will be your right side. So this one is the wrong side. I think this uh, the, the another one looks better. Here, let's make a knot. And now let's close the crown. Just starting from this loop here just pick up loops along and pull the tail through short loops long loops pull through and close. Look at the right side. You like it? I do. And now I'm going to use a hook here. So where is the first stitch? This way. Remove your needle Take a hook and start joining so underneath both loops on one side and on the on another side pull through again 
into the next stitch underneath both loops here and here pull through pull through so make a slip stitch do not pull tight pull a little bit and go on In this way you go on seaming. You remember that we are going to have folded brims, so you go on seaming, leaving 14 or 15 stitches here. And I will be back because I want to make a seam for the brim on the right side because when we fold it, it will be we will see the wrong side and we want it to be neat and fine. So go on seaming and leave 14 or 15 stitches at the end. So here I am. That's what I have. Let's measure this part. It can be less, it can be more. So in my case it is 10 centimeters or 4 inches. Now you need to turn the hat right side out and go on seaming in the same way. So find the loop. Pull tight here. Avoid holes. And pull through. In the same way, go on seaming. That's it. Please go on till the end. Here I am. That's how it looks. And when we fold brim, so you will see here a nice and neat side. Now you need only to wash your hat and dry it flat and it is ready. Thank you guys so much for watching this tutorial with me. I hope you really enjoyed it. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like this video. It's usually the written instructions you can find on my blog. And if you have any questions, please leave me a comment and I will be happy to help you. Don't forget to weave in all ends and enjoy your little and cute masterpiece. Thank you so much again and take care. Bye.